Hey, this is Pete from Abstract Ocean. Today we are going to install the center console wrap for the second generation center console. So at the time of recording, which is the beginning of January 2021, um, the second gen console start to appear in the model year 21, model threes. Um, I assume it's going to start appearing in uh, model Y pretty soon as well. So um, in the in the pack, we get the wrap itself. So it's a four piece set. Um, these two are the same, we kind of give you one for a practice run or a do-over if needed. This is for the sliding door. Um, and then at the bottom we have the, the cup holder piece. Um, and also kind of a bonus piece, but this is the, the wrap for the two USB-C ports on the rear of the center console. If you kind of want to carry that pattern through, through the whole console. Um, this piece in particular has this carrier sheet. Um, it helps you install it, you can maneuver it pretty easily, but more importantly it helps maintain the integrity of the, the shape just because the vinyl gets pretty sticky, uh, skinny around the, the edges of the cup holder. So that's the main thing. Um, you of course get squeegee and wipes. Um, and that's really all you need, um, other than about 15 minutes to do it. Uh, in terms of hints and tips, um, the main one is to have the car pretty cool while you're doing it. Ideally somewhere around 60 Fahrenheit or 16 Celsius is good. Um, if you can, refrigerate the vinyl before you install it. Um, just throw it in the fridge for an hour or two. What that'll do is make the vinyl a little bit more rigid um, and less tacky as well. So it just makes the installation a little bit easier. Um, the surface of the center console is, is virtually flat, so you certainly don't need flexibility in the vinyl. Um, but refrigerating it just makes it easier to install. Um, other than that, when you're applying it, I'm sure I'll mention this in the video, uh, make sure you squeegee the entire surface thoroughly. Um, even though it might look flat when you just lay it down, um, it's important to get all of the air out. Otherwise, when the car heats up or cools down, the air expands, contracts, eventually that ends up in a, in a bubble in the vinyl, and that doesn't look good. Um, and then the last tip, and this is based on selling tens of thousands of these things, seeing all the feedback, um, is just take your time, you know, make sure you set aside, you know, it's a 10 or 15 minute job, but set aside half an hour, cool the car down. Um, you probably don't want anyone watching over your shoulder while you're doing it, especially if it's your first vinyl installation. But um, if you just take your time, go slowly, steadily, um, you won't get frustrated and the installation will go pretty easily. Um, the center console or the second generation center console installation, I would argue is a little bit easier than the first generation. Um, so that's a, a plus. Um, and the finished result looks spectacular just because you have this metal bezel around the panels, so there's no visible edges, um, which just makes it look so, so good. I'll flash those photos up so you can see um, the result of the satin white in the performance or in the white interior. It looks great. Um, other than that, for the video that's coming up, we're going to install one piece of the gloss red or the metallic red to match the, the Tesla um, multi coat red. Just doing that because 3M have started shipping their vinyl with a protective coating if it's one of the gloss finishes. So I just want to show you how to remove that if needed. Um, and then the final installation will be the, the satin white install, um, just because that matches our white interior in this car. So feel free to skip through it. I'll put some chapter markers in the video. Um, if you can, subscribe and like. I never asked that, but why not this time around? Um, and enjoy the video. Thank you. All right, so we're going to go ahead and install the center console wrap. You can see we already have a black cup fiber on here. Um, I just wanted to show you how they, how easily they come off as well. So just kind of grab it by the edge, peel it back. Um, with some of these textured vinyls, particularly the carbon fiber and the matrix, you sometimes get them ripping along the pattern, um, but it doesn't matter. This has only been on for a day or so, so obviously it comes off pretty easily, but um, all the vinyls come off easily enough and don't leave any kind of residue or anything like that. And this one. Okay. So, first thing we're going to do, um, the console's pretty clean anyway, but we're going to go ahead and give it a wipe over. never hurts so a quick reminder make sure the car is cool you know somewhere between somewhere in the 60s 50s or 60s fahrenheit 10 to 15 or 16 celsius is good um, we're going to make sure we clean this get any hairs dust anything else out of the way and then very quickly i'm going to install just one piece of this um, gloss red 
the only reason I do this, and you can probably see it there actually, there's a, a clear um, film over the top of all the gloss finishes now from 3M on their 2080 um, vinyl. So um, I just wanted to show you how to remove it basically once it's in installed. So let me just quickly peel this off. So when we separate this top piece, the, the sliding door piece, um, always do it from this, one of the top corners. Um, we don't want to do it from down here because it will stretch the vinyl around the opening. And then as you remove it, just kind of use even pressure and go slow like that. Um, this vinyl's been in the car overnight, so it's nice and cool as well. So it's not too stretchy or floppy. And then you kind of really need to get over the top of it. You're going to use the handle as your alignment guide. And then what we're going to do is just be gentle with it. You can see that, you know, it's very easy to sort of lift and drop until you get the position exactly right. So I'm just going to let that go there. And we're going to look for a couple of things. So obviously we're looking for alignment around the, the handle. And then on these edges, we're kind of looking for, you know, just a little bit of an overlap all the way around. So about a mil, uh, one millimeter, a little bit more than that perhaps. Um, and this will all tuck under obviously once we complete the install. So um, just keep adjusting until you're happy with it and grab the squeegee. What we're going to do is just kind of work backwards down the middle and then work to the side. So we're always kind of working out to an edge and particularly around this handle we just want to make sure that the vinyl is nicely stuck down. Work it this way as well. Okay, and just work out the edges. Again, this is just a quick demo install, just so you can see the, the way the clear vinyl comes up or the clear layer comes up. And once you've got the center squeegeed down, we're just going to tuck these edges under, just like that. Work your way all the way around. Okay. And then if it's got stuck to this the cup holder section, which is which it might, that's no big deal. Just kind of lift it up, use the squeegee if you can, till it just releases like that. And then we want to. This is important to get a nice good crease along this edge. So what we're going to do is kind of help it along a little bit with the squeegee. I'm just going to use your thumb or a finger. And just kind of go backwards and forwards over it. What this does, it relaxes the vinyl first of all because you're applying some heat the friction and through finger gets a nice crease on there and then this avoids any um, bubbles on this leading edge because that's always the risk when you're turning a sharp corner with vinyl you want to make sure you've got all the air out so that you don't trap anything up here okay and once you've done that take the straight edge of the of the squeegee just kind of work it down now say so this vinyl is pretty cool um, if you get any um, of these ripples those are probably just smooth out with a finger, which is great. But um, if you get any that are more persistent, then all we need to do is just grab a hairdryer, put it on a low-ish setting, kind of the medium setting, um, and just heat the vinyl a little bit. And that will relax the vinyl um, and will make it um, easy to just get rid of these last few little um, bubbles or ridges. Okay. So that's the red on there, and then I just wanted to, so to get the um, the clear coat off, um, you may see some little bubbles already on here, so you can kind of grab one of those, but if not, just kind of pick away the little corner, you're not going to do any harm, just use your fingernail, and then just peel it away, it'll come off in one piece, and you can see that just leaves a nice glossy finish afterwards. So. That's all there is to it. Just wanted to show you the gloss installation just because it's a little different to, to the other um, vinyls. But now we've done that, we're going to take this back off. Again, find an edge. Peel it away. And we're going to finish up with our satin white. So, um, quick reminder, four pieces, top two are the same bottom piece is the cup holder, the main piece, and then the ninja mask or the USB wrap for the rear ports um, on the carrier sheet as well. This carrier sheet just maintains the shape of the cup holder section just because of these skinny pieces um, on the left and the right. 
So we're gonna take one of these. Same rules, so we're gonna peel away from one of the top corners. And just kind of grab it and just slowly peel it away, just paying attention not to kind of overtake yourself on one corner so that we stretch the bottom part, which we don't want to do. Okay. And then get right over the top of it. It's really important to get kind of a bird's eye view, you know, directly looking down. And just keep lifting and dropping and dragging it around. You can see it's not, not really sticking at all at the moment until you find good alignment over that, over that handle. I mean, you think you're good, kind of let it, let it just fall down in place. And again, looking at these different alignment points. So looking around the, the handle, and we're looking on this corner and this corner to make sure they're about the same. And if they are, then we should be good to go. So then we're going to just kind of work around the handle a little bit. Okay, and then we're gonna work from the center. Center back and then center out. Always working towards an edge, otherwise you trap the bubbles. So um, with all the vinyl, it's really important to squeegee every part of it. Even if it looks flat, um, it's really important to get all of the air out of it because if you don't, when the car warms up or cools down, um, the air will expand and contract and eventually a bubble will form in the vinyl. And there's really not much you can do about it at that point if it's somewhere in the middle. So just pay attention, squeegee all of the surface, just to make sure we get all of the air out. The 3M vinyl is pretty good, it has this air release technology. If you look at the adhesive side, there's like a cross hatching in the adhesive itself. Um, and that lets you get all the air out. Makes it really easy. So now I'm just going to tuck these edges under. Don't be too shy about doing this, it doesn't do any harm to the vinyl or the console of course. So I think that's pretty good. I'm going to just tuck this under here, lift it up again so we can open the door. And then as before, we're going to just make a nice sharp, sharp crease. This is pretty important, so take your time doing this. Get a real sharp crease with your finger. Pay attention on these little corners too, because they're sort of tucked in under there where they slide on the, on the rail. All right, and then get the straight edge of the, of the squeegee. Just work it down. I'm using pretty good pressure at this point. Like so. Again, if you have any persistent sort of ripples on this edge, just grab a hairdryer, work them out, but you can see hopefully that that's gone on perfectly. So there you go. So it doesn't stop the mechanism, of course. It's nice and clear and really looks very, very factory when it's done just because you don't see any of the edges at all. So no one would know it didn't come from the factory this color. Moving on to the second piece, the cup holder. So for this piece, we're going to use the, this clear carrier sheet, which maintains the shape of the, um, the cup holder cutout and also um, holds the Ninja mask or USB mask for us. I'm just going to peel it off and then try and just touch the, the clear carrier sheet because that doesn't do any harm there. And then using sort of the handles or the ears on each side of the carrier sheet, we're just going to do the same thing. You can see you can drag it very easily so just keep dragging it and dropping it until you get good alignment. So we're looking for a few different alignment points on this piece because it's a little more complicated than the other piece. And you really do need to be over the top of it. And this may take you a dozen or more times. So as I mentioned at the beginning, do be patient, do take your time. It does fit, I promise you. Every cut is the same. Um, we've tested it, I think, combined total of getting these two right was about 130 
um, attempts. So um, just be patient and you'll find the perfect spot for it. So the places I'm looking are obviously the cup holder shape, particularly this bit here and this bit here. And then on this back edge, same thing, we're looking at these little corners to make sure there's about a millimeter or so overlapping, which obviously we'll tuck under. So I think that's pretty good. Just a tiny, tiny adjustment. There we go. Okay. No. Okay. When you're happy, again, get the squeegee, work it backwards from the center. Then out to the edges. I'm not going to tuck it under just yet. Okay, so when we get to these super skinny parts, we need to be a little bit careful with the vinyl. So what we want to do is kind of fold the, the carry sheet back a little bit. Hopefully you can see that on one of the cameras. And then get your squeegee and tuck it down. And um, what, we're, what we're doing here is making sure that the vinyl isn't sticking to the aluminium um, bezel at all. It's sticking to the actual center console. So you want quite a sharp crease along here. Now we can tuck the rest of that in real quick. And we're going to do the same on this side. So again, just sort of fold it back because the either the vinyl or the carry sheet will stick to this uh, aluminium bezel if you, if you let it. So we just want to give an excuse not to do that. Just tuck that down, like so. And the same thing, just shove the squeegee underneath the bezel. And then when we peel this away, um, obviously we want to keep it face up because we're still going to use this centerpiece, the USB wrap. Just peel it away very carefully from one of these bottom corners, making sure that we're not lifting the vinyl over here. Let's take it back. Okay, let's see what we can do about that. Let's see if that's recoverable. Okay. Let me tuck it under there. So that's a good example of really not doing a great job of um, making sure the vinyl is stuck before you peel it away. But also you can see it recovers just fine. There's no issues with it at all. But do pay attention to these areas in particular and do go slowly. And then all we need to do now is just peel this back a little bit so we can get the door out of the way, like so. And then let's tuck these back under there, under there. And then we're going to get that nice crease. We're just going back some fours with your finger. And then get the flat edge with the squeegee. Just use some decent pressure to bring it down. Another reminder if you need, if you just need to smooth this out, um, grab a hairdryer afterwards just to relax the vinyl, use the squeegee to pinch that up. Okay, and then on this trading edge, um, really the same thing. You don't really need the squeegee, I don't think, but just oops, a bit, a bit of air there. So just use your finger to just roll it kind of over this edge. and then maybe just use the squeegee in these corners. And that is that. So hopefully you can see, um, if I put the lid down, the camera in there, but um, this looks completely factory. Fantastic match for the, um, the white interior as well. So looks really good. Last thing we need to do is the, the USB rack, which we're going to do in the back. Okay, so for the USB port wrap, we're going to use the two um, USB-C ports as your alignment points. So just kind of present the 
line on the top of those. Get them nicely lined up. And then just kind of use your finger to smooth it out a little bit. Now we're going to grab the squeegee. Just work it around, up into the edges like that. Inside. And then make sure you've used enough pressure that the vinyl is well stuck, especially if it was cool because cooler vinyl doesn't stick quite as well. It will, it won't make any difference, but it will over time. And then just peel this back. And then just do any tidy up afterwards and you can see what we're doing and we'll carry the things out of the way. So this piece is optional, you don't have to do it if you don't want to, it's kind of a bonus piece, but it just kind of pulls the look from the front into the back. Um, particularly if you're going to use one of the colours, the red or the blue perhaps, then it makes sense just to use this back here as well. So with that, thank you for watching, um, good luck with your installation, you'll love it, um, and I think the, the end result is just excellent, it really does, does a good job and looks great in the car.